or due to that rain. Well, finally tonight, it's hands down one of the most vigorous sporting events on the planet. And it's sweeping its way across the nation. Your Athlete of the Week impressed in his first showing and has his sights set even higher next year. The announcers there were saying that it is one of the best sporting event things to watch. You know what I mean? It's, it's incredible. And it's only the beginning. The Coeur d'Alene Ironman competition has become one of the most prestigious in the country. Known for its beautiful scenery, highly competitive athletes, and of course, the remarkable swim start. Basically, I decided I was going to start in the front, and I want to be the first one in the water. Not a bad plan when you're competing in your first Ironman, but as Matt Baker found out, in these Ironman competitions, plans can quickly go awry. I figured everyone else could swim around me at that point, but it's tough swimming around 2,500 other people in the water. <laughs> a much different atmosphere than what Baker was used to during his training, which actually began a year in advance. Oh yeah, I thought about it every day, but it was it was exciting. I was really looking forward to it, and I knew that it's what I wanted to do. But with 12 months worth of morning swims and runs, evening bike rides, and weekends packed with all three, it was only natural for the Great Falls guy to begin to question the whole Iron Man decision. Determination. <laughs> I really didn't get sick of it till about two months prior to the race. I knew it was in sight, though. Finally, after relentless hours, weeks, months of training, Baker found himself on the eve of competition. Final night, I slept real good, actually. Uh, it was just waking up at 4 in the morning, eating breakfast, and finally time for the big show. And he was well prepared for the big stage. Baker finished 292nd out of nearly 2,500 athletes with a time of 11 hours and 4 minutes, good for 6th in his age group. But he says the celebration at race's end wasn't exactly what you may expect. be honest with you, you're a little, uh, you're a little out of it when you cross the finish line, but it was, it was a lot of excitement. When you run down that street, there's hundreds of people, thousands cheering you on, and it's, it's, a, it's a great moment, and it made it all worth it, that one moment right there. Baker admits he never would have achieved that moment without the help of an old Iron Man vet. Yeah, I had a friend here from Great Falls. This is his ninth Iron Man. When you think about that, nine Iron Man competitions, how outstanding is that? Yeah, that's that's great. He's crazy. <laughs> Tired just thinking about it. That's a Wednesday look at sports. We're back right after this.